struggling with a low GPU, maybe a laptop GPU with just four or six gigabytes of VRAM, and tired of waiting for SDXL models to generate an automatic 1111? Well, today's video is tailor-made for you. ComfyUI is your ultimate solution. With it, you'll create top quality images faster than ever before. Not only that, you can use a refiner and upscaler with SDXL models, and here's the kicker. You can even outperform a GPU with 12 gigabytes of VRAM running automatic 1111. In this video, we're going to do these tests together using a GTX 1660 and a RTX 3060. But that's not all. I'll guide you step by step on how to install and make the most of Comfy UI. You'll learn how to load workflows that will take your creativity to the next level, all without having to invest in an expensive GPU. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and show us some love by smashing the like button. It helps us beat the algorithm. Ready? Let's dive in. The absolute first thing we need is something called Git. And basically what this does, it pulls files from GitHub, which is sort of a main site for a lot of stuff for stable diffusion. And we'll be using this in this video and future videos to come. It's very easy to install, so don't worry about it. Click on the link and when you get to this page, you want to download the version that pertains to you. For most of you, it'll be this one. So click on that and save it to your downloads folder. In your downloads folder, you'll see this icon here. All you have to do is double click it. You'll get a notification if you want to install it. Just click on yes. And then when you see this window, just simply click on install. Then it's going to run through the installation process. That's all you really have to do. Next, we're going to install Comfy UI. So head on over to this page and scroll down until you see this section here, installing for Windows. Click on this link to download it. And also, if you don't already have 7-zip, click on that link to download it. This will help extract Comfy UI. Depending on your system, if it's 64 or 32-bit, most likely it'll be 64. You want to download this version. Once a file is downloaded to your downloads folder, simply right-click, click on Open With, 7-zip File Manager. Select the file and click on Extract. At this point, you want to select where you want to install it. So you can click on three buttons here and pick a drive of your choice. You could even create a new folder if you want. This should only take a few seconds depending on your system. Next, you want to go into that directory. In my case, it was my C drive. You'll see a folder here called Comfy UI Windows Portable. Double click on that. This is your main Comfy UI folder that will hold all your other assets. We'll come back to this in a second. Back to the installation page, you want to scroll down just a bit here. And by the way, if you're an AMD user, you can run it only on a Linux environment. You want to follow these steps here. For NVIDIA users, you want to highlight all of this line here and click on Control C. Back to the Comfy UI folder. So you want to double click in the main Comfy UI folder, highlight the URL and put in CMD once again. We'll be in the command window and we want to paste that information and click enter. This is going to install Xformers that helps speed up the generation time, as well as PyTorch, which is needed to run Comfy UI. Leave the window open. We'll go back to the main instructions here. Highlight this line here and simply paste it in the command window. Now, if you're like me and you use other platforms like Automatic 1111, how you can redirect your models to Comfy UI is pretty simple. So first go to your Stable Diffusion Models folder. If you're using Automatic 1111, it should look something like this. You would just have to right click, copy address to text. Then you'll have to go to your main Comfy UI folder. Then look for this file called Extra Model Paths YAML Example. You can open it with something like Notepad. I've got Notepad++. And within this file, it tells you what to do. So for your checkpoint models, you can paste your directory here. So we're going to right click, paste. And then you would do the same thing for all your other files like your VAEs, your LORAs, your upscale models, whatever the case may be. You can paste your links here. And then if you look at the top here, it says rename this to extra underscore model underscore paths dot YAML. Then on the top right, you want to click on save. So you can right click, select rename or F2 and just remove the example from here in the period. Hit enter, click on yes. Now, if you want a custom model, the place to go is Civit AI. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. But any of these top ones are great to start with. Now we can finally test it out and see if it's running properly. When it opens up, you'll see the default interface. Now you could zoom in with a scroll wheel or control plus and minus. And you see the checkpoint here, the model is already loaded. Let's open that up a bit. And to navigate, you just have to click on the workspace and move around. 
it has a default prompt already. So we're just gonna run this. And to generate the image, we're gonna hit Q prompt here. And you'll see as it passes through the process and there's our image. So congratulations, you've installed Comfy UI. If you happen to be new to Stable Diffusion, basically Comfy UI is like looking under the hood of all those other platforms like Automatic 11.11, Invoke AI, or even some of the online ones that you might be using. Now this is a very basic setup, but the way it works is that you load your model here and that model contains all the data that will create your image. In this section, we see clip text encoders for our positive and negative prompts. This is how we tell the AI what image we want. And the text encoding is really just converting data into numbers. And then at the bottom here, you see something called empty latent image. So think of a blank canvas. So depending on what you type in here, it's gonna pull information from the model. It'll go through something called a diffusion process where it creates all this noise and there'll be layers upon layers of that noise. Then it'll go through the sampler process. And this is what helps to do the denoising to create your image. The VA decode here is sort of like the final steps and it'll convert all this information back into pixels to create your final image. I definitely wanna go deeper on this process in future videos, but that's basically how it works. Before we get into some other housekeeping stuff, I do wanna show you how to install the plugins manager that we're gonna use quite a bit in future videos. Once again, click on the link in the description below and you'll come to this page. As we scroll down here, we'll come across the installation section. And the method we're gonna use is the second method here. So the first step is to install Git. We've already done that. The second step is to download this into the Comfy UI Windows portable directory. Now, instead of clicking on it, we're gonna right click, save link as, and we have to find this directory here, Comfy UI Windows portable, and save it into that folder. Head on over to that same folder, and now you'll see this icon here, install manager for portable version. We're gonna double click, and it'll do the installation, and then we're gonna restart Comfy UI. When you restart Comfy UI, now you're going to see this manager option. The standout feature of Comfy UI is the capability to download a custom JavaScript workflow file created by users and seamlessly load it into your UI. We're going to explore a workflow that promises to generate SDXL images swiftly, even with low VRAM graphics cards. First, we'll add some parameters in our run NVIDIA GPU.bat file using a text editor. Next, we'll download the SDXL refiner from Hugging Face and put it in ComfyUI's models folder inside the checkpoints directory, or if you are using automatic 11.11 models directory, save it there. After that, we are all going to download SDXL VAE and put it in the models folder inside the VAE directory. We'll need also two upscalers. You can grab them directly from the Civitai page and place them in the upscale models folder. Lastly, get the following workflows, V2, V2 with LoRa quality, and V2 with LoRa fast. Extract these workflows from the zip files and put them inside a new folder in your comfy UI. Now it's time to switch to a lower end GPU to test this workflow effectively. Right now, I'm using an NVIDIA GTX 1660 with six gigabytes of VRAM, as you can see in my task manager here. Now let's open Comfy UI and let's import the first workflow made by the Civitai user, Pechista. First, we'll create an image using the default workflow that appears when you open Comfy UI. Keep in mind that we'll conduct these tests after generating the first image. The default Comfy UI workflow took two minutes and 43 seconds to generate an SDXL image with 20 sampling steps without any LoRa refining model or upscaling. Now let's experiment with the Civit AI workflow. Click load and select the first JSON file, Comfy Fast Low RAM V2. This may appear a bit complicated, but it's easy to understand and don't worry, I will do more Comfy UI tutorials in future. To begin, load the VAE we previously downloaded, and for the base model, choose SDXL. Next, load the refiner we got from Hugging Face and select one of the upscalers we added earlier. We'll stick with the default prompt in this test and then simply click Q prompt. With the Civit AI workflow, it took two minutes and seven seconds to generate an image using the SDXL model, a refiner, and an upscaler. 
Now let's compare this with the RTX 3060 using the same prompts and settings. With a 12 gigabyte graphics card, the image was generated in just 22 seconds. This is remarkable because with the same settings, using an SDXL model along with a refiner and upscaling the image in automatic 1111 would take much longer. As expected, automatic 1111 took three minutes and 50 seconds to generate one image on a 12 gigabyte graphics card which is significantly longer than the GTX 1660 with only six gigabytes of VRAM. This is one of the reasons why I find ComfyUI to be superior in many aspects. And you're all set for today's video. If you're an automatic 1111 user, I hope this has been a helpful introduction to ComfyUI. I also wish that this workflow will speed up your image generation process and save you valuable time. If you encounter any issues, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out my previous video if you want to learn more about making money using AI.